Rust, rust, rust. Man, what is going on with these engines? All right, what's up, y'all? So we got rust, rusted engines. We got that Ford Ranger over there. That engine block is just all rusty. I flushed it out years ago. It had perfect antifreeze in there, perfect coolant in there, nice and green color, but the water just kept coming out no matter how much I flushed it. Red, red, red. It got a little bit lighter as we went along, but I just couldn't get all the rust out of there. Why are these things rusting? Then we got the formerly abandoned Yamar tractor project. So that thing had perfect antifreeze in there. You know, it was nice and green, mixed just right. Took that engine apart, rust. Rusted, rusted, rusted. Everywhere. What is going on with these engines? I don't know. The antifreeze is supposed to protect this stuff from rusting and help lubricate it. It's supposed to last like five years, something like that. It ain't working right. This Ford Ranger 4.0 overhead valve, it's got cast iron block, uh, cast iron heads. This thing was nasty, man, but I got it flushed out now. And you can see it ain't that dirty. So this Vortec V8 on the Chevrolet Avalanche, formerly abandoned. It's got a cast iron block and aluminum heads. And you can see there's a bunch of gunk in the radiator reservoir. But I got in there and I flushed that boy. And then I cleaned him and I replaced him. And it's still got a little bit of gunk in there, but it's not full of rust like these other engines were. So he's nasty again. But other than that, you know, it's fine. That's Dex Cool. It's supposed to be orange like that. You know, that's regular antifreeze. It's green 50 50 Prestone. It's supposed to be green. So, what's the deal? What's going on? I always mix pure antifreeze 50 to 50. 50% 50 pure antifreeze, 50% distilled water. They rust. I don't know what the deal is. Maybe the antifreeze just doesn't protect against rust and corrosion like it says it does. Have y'all ever had this problem with truck engines, tractor engines, diesel engines, gasoline engines, anything really? If you have, let me know in the comments below. I'm genuinely trying to figure this out. But there wasn't much rust in the Chevrolet Avalanche and the Ford Ranger. You know, this thing was nasty. Like I said, we flushed it and flushed it and flushed it and it still didn't come out completely clean, but I got it as good as I could, you know. And the Yanmar tractor project, man, that thing was so nasty. We had flakes just chipping off. I mean, I was pulling flakes out of there. I had to vacuum the flakes out of the engine block because it was so rusted out. You can't tell me that's normal. For 40 years, there's no way. Even with just plain water sitting in there, I can't imagine it being that bad. Ford Ranger wasn't sitting abandoned at the time. That thing just got full of rust and I had to flush it. You know, I was doing a thermostat on there. Had to take that bad boy out and saw all that rust and was like, oh, yeah. And then we had to get in there and flush it because I wasn't about to put it back together like that. But it's good now. So on the Suzuki Vincent project here, the four-wheeler I rebuilt, this is an all-aluminum motor. There's no rust down in there at all, obviously, because there ain't nothing to rust. Then I did the radiator relocate up here. All we had to deal with was all the dirt clogged in the radiator, but there was no rust inside the cooling system. And then here's something to think about right here, an outboard, right? It sucks in water right here from the lake or ocean, comes up here, circulates it through the engine block right here, through the heads, to cool the engine. Even these I hadn't seen as bad a corrosion as those cast iron ones with the rust. You know, they'll get some white aluminum oxide corrosion in here, but nothing as bad as I've seen with these trucks. And this is sucking water, straight pure water, no antifreeze up out of the ocean or lake. So what gives? So what do we do at this point? I don't know. You know, the boats aren't a problem. The outboard engines aren't really a problem. The green antifreeze, you know, you can really tell when that stuff's all nasty and rusted, but the Dex Cool that's orange antifreeze, you can't really tell if that's all nasty and rusted, you know. Um, you'll see the green stuff, because it mixes with the rust, you can tell, be like, oh, yeah, this motor's all nasty on the inside for whatever reason, but the orange stuff, you know, you can't really tell unless there's a bunch of froth or some nastiness in there, um, because it's orange, just like rust, unfortunately. So we need some real solutions for this, guys. Antifreeze does not work like they say it does. Do we need to change it every year, every six months? 
Every two years, like five years, it's obviously not doing it. Okay, some people say, some people have told me it's the radiator. The radiator's the problem. Well, the radiators are normally plastic and aluminum. You get down in there with the garden hose like I've done before and just open the thing on the bottom, spray them out, you know, flush them out, not the problem. The problem's obviously coming from the engine block and the engine heads where all the coolant flows through there and because uh, they're cast iron, they rust. And cast iron rusts, you know, easier than steel. It's got all that antifreeze flowing through there and it's not preventing the corrosion like the antifreeze is supposed to. That's one of the reasons why you use it. It lubricates, it stops it from freezing, and it prevents corrosion. Well, maybe there's an additive, maybe there's something we can do, I don't know. So here's a real solution for you. We're just gonna switch to air-cooled engines. We're not gonna worry about all that water and all that mess. We're just gonna get old school air-cooled engines and then we don't have to worry about all this nasty antifreeze. So I get the best I can get. This right here I used in the GM trucks. It's the orange Prestone. Five years, 150,000 miles. I know I'm not exceeding that. And then this is what I get for green right here, Prestone. Um, you know, the best stuff I can get, but still rusting. So, you know, this is concentrate. I mix it and then I label it once it's 50-50. You know, it's cheaper to do that way. Maybe there's some additive or something you dump in here. I don't know, but as far as I know, you're supposed to mix 50-50, dump it in there, and it's supposed to work just right, but it's not doing the job for me. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just these engines, these vehicles that I'm working on. They're old. They're neglected. I don't know, but I'm sure other people have had this problem too. I think I'm just going to stick to outboards. You know, these outboards are water-cooled, but they just suck the water out of the body of water that you're floating on that way you don't have to worry about antifreeze 50 50 mixing you don't have to worry about any of that stuff you just stick it in the water and go so here's the yamar tractor project here and uh we can check out the antifreeze here the coolant reservoir it's fine there's no rust in here now i've been using this thing like crazy and it's pure as pure as pure as can be so we did a good job on this. Whatever the problem was, I redid the engine, you know. When I rebuilt it, we got in there and coated it with that um, phosphoric acid to prevent any corrosion in the future. So it doesn't look like it's rusting anymore. Well, at least I know for a fact when we work on outboards with aluminum engine blocks, trucks with aluminum engine blocks, aluminum heads, or air-cooled engines, we don't have to worry about this antifreeze situation. Let me know, does this stuff work as well as it's supposed to? Am I on to something? Am I wrong? I want to know in the comments below if y'all have ever encountered this. Let's see if we can get to the bottom of it. Later.